Hello guys, my name is Madison Hagler and I wanted to give you some information about this new channel that you're on right now. This channel is called Presenting Tinio. I have another channel that is just my name, Madison Hagler. It's where I'll do sleight of hand magic and I do stage performances and that sort of thing. But I wanted to create a completely separate entity, an entirely new channel, just for Tinio effects. Like I said, this channel is called Presenting Tinio. Now there are some great Tinio channels already on YouTube. Corn Matches, who I think is now Patagonia, I hope I'm saying this correctly, is on YouTube with some great Tinio demonstrations, some very collectible rare Tinios, which are awesome. If you haven't heard of him, check him out. Some really good stuff. Um, Magic Japan or Japan Magic, I can't remember which order it goes in, but he has some really great Tinio videos and his versions of Tinio, which are very, very nice versions. I love them. Then there's Tinio Theater, which is some very pretty, beautiful shots and lighting of some Tinio effects which really make them seem very theatrical. I love it. So why another channel? There's already so many. Well, all of those channels that I just mentioned, they perform the Tinio effect in silence. They do uh, music, they set it to music, or they don't set it to music and let you hear the natural noises, but they don't have presentations. So I wanted to come up with presenting Tinio. I wanted to come up with presentations for the Tinio effects. Tinio is not known for having presentations built into their effects. They're very much just watch something cool that I can do. So I think it's going to be kind of a challenge, and it'll be a fun challenge for me to hopefully try to come up with fun presentations, uh, get a presentational hook on these classic Tinio effects, and try to make them interesting and usable for real-world magicians and that sort of thing. Now, a little bit about myself and how I started collecting Tinio. Well, I started collecting Tinio probably eight years ago. But I didn't know I was collecting Tinio. I had no clue what these things were. I, I just thought they were awesome tricks with really cool mechanics. I didn't know they were collector's items or special in any way, shape, or form. So that said, I lost a few that I had when I was bought years ago. I, I lost some of them. I didn't know they were Tinio. I threw them away. Trisector was one of those, or Trisection. Um, another one was uh, Black Slate or the Miracle Slate or something. There's a few that I had over the years that got thrown away. Oh no is another one. Um, but over the years, like I said, they just they broke down. They got where they weren't working clear, uh, clearly and cleanly, so I threw them away. I didn't know they were collectors. Recently, I say recently, a few years ago now, probably five years ago or so, I started to realize, oh man, these are Tinio. These are really cool collectibles. These are, you know, they're, they're known for their really awesome mechanical gimmickry and lack of sleight of hand. And I was like, this is awesome. I love it. And for some reason in the past week or two, I've got on a buying frenzy where I've just bought tons and tons of Tinio. I don't have really old rare Tinio, so that's not what you can really expect from this site unless somebody out there watching wants to give me some of the old rare Tinio, then by all means have at it. Just message me here or send me an email at presentingtinio at gmx.com. I will love to take those off of your hand and, and shoot some video of them. But because I'm not going to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on one single Tinio effect, what I'll basically be presenting are Tinio effects that you can get at a reasonable price, you know, below $100 a piece. And like I said, trying to create a presentation for these Tinio effects. Now, there may be times when I can't think of a presentational hook, and in that case, I'll just perform it for the camera and, you know, with my words, not done in silence. But hopefully, for the most part, I'll be able to come up with some fun presentations for them. I may also do reviews for the Tinio products. I may list my favorites, my least favorites, that sort of thing. Um, I really don't know how the formatting of this channel is going to end up, but I do know it's going to be based on Tinio. There may also be some other non-Tinio but Tinio related magic thrown in, like Trix uh, Co. Japan, Space Dice, for example. I hope to give a full routine of Space Dice. Um, Patagonia has a great first version of Space Dice, but it's actually a three-phase routine, so I hope to get a full video of that in at some point in time, and some other uh, Trix Co. Japan effects, and maybe some other Tinio related as in mechanical gimmickry effects as well. So, that's about all with this channel. I'm not going to be uploading weekly or bi-weekly or anything like that. I don't have a schedule for this, which means I may upload 10 videos in a week, and then I may not upload another video for two years. I really don't know. It's just going to depend on how my schedule turns out. It's just going to be filming whenever I have time to film. I did want to, before I go here, give you a list of the Tinio that I have and what you can expect in the future on this Presenting Tinio site. So, um, tricks that I had before are Crystal Cleaver, Tower of Dice, Bioshock, Squeeze Play, Illusionarium, Miracle Coin Through, Blue Crystal, Impossible Pin, and Soft Coins. 
those are all the tricks I had before and now since, since my buying frenzy I've purchased a lot more so I'm going to give you a complete list of those as well again these are all things you can expect to see me, see me performing in the future on this channel they are Eclipse, Silk Serenade, Trap Box, Security Lock, Funnel Vision, Great Escape, Ghost Card, 40 Printers, See Through Card, Synchro Boxes, President's Cabinet, Magician's Matchbox, 40 Surprise, Fortune Donut, Animation Frame, Vault Vision, Crystal Pyramid, Miracle Zone, Pillars of Thor, and I'm sure I'll have more to come in the future. So that is the complete list of Tenyos that you can expect to see on this channel. That's a good 30 Tenyo or so. I think that would be a great start. Again, if you want to send me any collectible rare Tenyos, have at it. I'm more than welcome to receive those if you are willing to give them away. Um, if you want to sell them, I'm looking for good prices. I don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on one effect. I'm just, I'm, I'm more for the, the method and the performing of these, not so much for just having them on my shelf to collect dust. So that's a little bit, a brief overview about what this presenting Tenyo channel is all about. And I hope you can subscribe. That way you can get notified of all the videos I post here in the future. Thank you to all of you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you again in the future. Thanks so much. See ya.